You are listening to Lone Star Community Radio on 104.5 KCZW LP Conroe and 106.1 KZCC LP Conroe and worldwide on IRLoneStar.com. Good morning. How is everybody doing today? My name is JJ Holly. I am president and CEO of the Woodlands Area Chamber of Commerce. And with me is Jenny Coyle. Hi, how are you? Hi, good morning. Good morning. Well, we are uh, going to take over the station for a little while here today in place of Miss Margie Taylor, who sent us a wonderful picture of, of uh, the both of them in Hawaii. So we're all about, you know, a little bit upset about that. Rubbing it in. Rubbing it in. It's just not right. It's just no. not right. But she graciously offered for us to come on the show today and talk about the Woodlands Area Chamber of Commerce and some of the activities and events that we have going on. And so I'd like to pass over to Jenny. She's going to take it uh, and uh, uh, talk to us about Taste of the Town. Thanks so much. Yes, Taste of the Town is this week. We are super, super excited. It is on Thursday. Doors open at 4 o'clock, 4 to 9 Um, Tickets are on sale on our website. It's www.tasteofthetown.org. That's $30 for general admission, $20 for children. The only difference in those tickets is for adults, you get two beer tickets with that. So the children do not get the beer tickets. The children don't get the beer tickets. It would probably help them sleep if... It would be nice. It yeah. would be nice. But we do we do have a beer that is being distributed. Um, you can buy additional beer tickets there. We will have some samples of wine. Um, but we don't have hard alcohol, which we tried. We tried, but they wouldn't <laughs> let me do it. Um, so anyway, it's going to be a great um, evening. Some of the restaurants, I'll actually let you know a bunch of the restaurants that are going to be there that are participating. We have Good & Company. Um, the Waterway Marriott also is showing showcasing all of their uh, banquet services that they do. Villa Sport Athletic Club, they do have a kitchen there. Um, if you've never been, they have a little cafe in the front that's got great stuff. Shalesi's New Orleans Kitchen, which is amazing. I'm glad you pronounced it that way. I always pronounce <laughs> I'm it I'm from wrong. Louisiana, so I can get that one. Um, we have Johnny's Italian Steakhouse. Um, also, that new Houston place, Houston City Place Marriott in Springwoods Village. Um, a lot of people aren't familiar with that, I don't think. It's that new Marriott that they've just built. Um, it's not the one on the waterway. But they have an excellent restaurant, excellent catering, mm-hmm. catering services there. Um, they do special events really, really beautifully. So they're going to be showing some of their stuff. We have H-E-B, always, always a favorite, and they always help us out so much. Robard Steakhouse, which is at the Woodlands Resort and is delicious. Ceriso's Modern Italian Kitchen, that's, oh, that's brand, brand new. new. Yes. I don't even think it's open no. officially. That is in the Westin on the waterway. It was formerly, I can't remember the name of what it used to be, but they have completely rebranded it. And the bar attached is actually going to be called uh, Como Social Club. That's that pool oh. deck bar. So it should be super, super cool. Another kind of a Cajun thing. <laughs> yes. And not that Como. The Italian <laughs> Como. Different Comos. Um, Trulux is going to be there. Landry's. Craft Grill. Um, Avenida Brazil Churrascaya Steakhouse, which I believe won Best Entree last year. They did. That's true. Yes. Um, P.F. Chang's. And then we're going to have the Refuge, which, as you know, has two locations. There's one on the waterway as well as one in Creekside. Yeah. Um, and they're fabulous. Be nice to have Mark there. That'll be, that'll be, they always do a great job. They do. And they do a lot of catering, which is mm-hmm. awesome as well. Um, then we have some single booths. Those were all double booths, if I didn't mention that. Um, the Egg and I is one, which is actually switching its name to First Watch Cafe. Mm-hmm. So just be on the lookout for that. Gringo's Mexican Kitchen. Hootie's Five Fire Grill. Oh, the uh, South American yes. flair. Yeah. That's awesome. Woodson's Local Tap, mm-hmm. Nona's Italian Grill, Thistle Draft Shop, Cupcakes and Bubbles, which is exactly what it sounds like. Cupcakes and Champagne, and they will be <laughs> serving both, I can attest. Now, did cupcakes go well with champagne? I don't know. Everything yeah, that, goes well with champagne. That's true. I so, can't argue with that. You drink that. enough champagne, you don't even know what you're <laughs> what you're eating. Um, Broken Barrel will be there. Ooh, I had breakfast at Broken Barrel yesterday, and uh, Hilda's the chef over there. She is phenomenal. We had, and uh, this is not good for my diet, but we had Nutella stuffed French toast. Oh. And we even got a little glimpse into what they're preparing for Thursday. But I I promised I wouldn't tell what it is, but it was phenomenal. I love their stuff. Mm -hmm. It is wonderful. 
Um, and they're kind of hidden back there. They they're, are. They're in uh, Hughes Landing. They are right across from Shulix. Yeah, and you go and you'll eat somewhere, and then you'll walk around and go, well, what's Broken Barrel? Oh, I forgot about that. That would be a nice place to go. Yes, they have amazing brunch. They have amazing lunch menu. Mm-hmm. Um, and she does a lot of specialty items uh, different times, so you never know what you're going to get when you get in there either. Yes. And they have an excellent wine selection. Really, really Ooh. nice uh, wine selection. Kirby's is also involved. Oh, Kirby's Barry, is good. Kirby's is great. Berry Hill is going mm-hmm. to be there, and they have been so generous. They are actually going to feed all of our volunteers that day. Oh. So we're going to have some very happy volunteers. Elaine is so nice over there. She They're takes good wonderful. Care of us. So that'll be delicious. Um, we have Natalita's Mexican, number two. Mm-hmm. Trader Joe's will be pouring wine. Hallelujah. <laughs> um, Pacific Yard House and Red Brick Tavern, which is right around the we're, corner from we're us. We're close to them right now. Yes. Um, Black Walnut. We have Bella Green. Babbins, another Cajun. We have Taco Nation. Mama Cita's. Chicken Salad Chick, which is new to the Woodlands, hasn't opened yet. Well, I, I have not heard of them before. So They are a chain, I believe. They have one in spring, I believe, okay. she told me, um, just south of 99. But they're going to open? They are opening one in the Woodlands. I think it is on 242. I could be wrong, but I think she uh, said it's on 242. Um, and they specialize in about 20 different kinds of chicken salads. If you can imagine, how and how I, how many different ways can you make chicken salad? Apparently twenty different. Apparently ways. twenty different. Ways. <laughs> You'll have to go check them out and see. So, um, but everything I've heard about them is it's amazing. Um, we have Palette Indian Cuisine, Chewy's, and then um, the beer distributors that are going to be donating the beer are Southern Star Brewery, Faust Brewing, and Silver Eagle Distributing. So we have to give them a big shout out because without yes. them, this wouldn't be nearly as fun. They are always so generous and helpful with us. Yes. Um, we also have one mobile chef, Russo's New York Pizza, is going to bring their truck. Oh, which great. That will be super cool. So you have a little bit of a food truck mm-hmm. vibe happening with that. And those are our restaurants. So we could not be more excited. So you pay $30 mm-hmm. uh, before we get to the door, 35 at the door. Correct. And you're basically paying, you're paying uh, what, less than a dollar per restaurant. Absolutely. Plus two free drinks. Plus two free drinks. Plus two free uh. drinks. So that's super fun. And then we have a bunch of vendors um, outside of the food industry that will be passing out beer, soda, water, the beer bands. So you'll be getting yep. a whole lot of little koozies and mm-hmm. keychains and lots of little little fun stuff that people are going to be passing out as well. Um, we also have a um, best of competition. My brain went dead for a second. So we have five celebrity judges. They will be judging dishes on best appetizer, best entree, best dessert, People's Choice, which the people will vote for, the the, um, the judges won't handle that one, and Best Decorated Booth. So those uh, awards will be going out about 7 o'clock at night, so that'll be fun, too, and see who gets to take home the big prize. Well, that will be neat. Yes. Do you know who some of the judges are going to be? Yes. Uh, we have Cleverly Stone. Yep. She's from Fox 26 News, I think. Correct. We have... I talked to her on Saturday. did a little you interview did. with her. You did? Well, that's right. I forgot she was very nice. That. We have... Um, i to make sure I'm pronouncing everyone's name correctly. We have Phaedra Park. Is it Phaedra? Phaedra Cook. Sorry, Phaedra, Phaedra Cook. Phaedra yes, Cook. Thank you. She's well, That's wonderful. appropriate. She should be a judge for exactly. a cooking event. Nick Phaedra Rama. Um, he is going to be one of our judges, as well as Greg Onofiro and Carrie Stessel. Well, you did a better job pronouncing those than I would. See? So I, and that was on the spot. So you did very I'm good. I just threw that out at you with no warning. <laughs> sorry, Yes, Jenny. so those will be our wonderful, wonderful judges. And um, the prizes, it'll be, um, we've got some really cool little um, prizes that we had made up. There are these olive wood boxes that are actually a grater. It's like a zester for Parmesan cheese. Um, and they came straight from Tuscany. I can attest they came straight because from Tuscany you went and picked on them the plane. Up on your own. Yes. Chamber sent me to Tuscany. Yes. We, we, we sent all of our uh, staff yes. to uh, Europe. Yes. When something needs to be purchased. Or the Orient. It just <laughs> Anywhere. depends. You just never know. So, yes, and they um, they we are, have no boundaries. <laughs> we have great budget. They're beautifully engraved, and um, they're going to be a really special little thing for well, the, that's the be winners nice. to get, a little commemorative thing. Yes. Now, how many people normally attend this event? We expect about 3,000 attendees. Yeah, it gets pretty packed in there. Yes. So, just be patient. Have your cocktails. Stand in line. Mm-hmm. Do your Disney planning counterintuitive. Don't go left, go right. You know, try right. to spread out, things like that. So You know, I, I've been involved with the chamber. I've only worked for the chamber for about uh, three years, over three years, but I've been involved in the chamber for more than a decade. And Taste of the Town was one of the committees I volunteered on. 
And one thing I always noticed was that uh, in years past, it was really, really, really crowded. You could hardly even, you know, you had to change your mind, you know, go outside to change your mind. But we have done some of the past two or three years, we've reorganized some of the layout. So it's a lot easier to move around. But we do ask that um, people don't bring strollers. The strollers take up a huge amount of room and Right. You know, you wind up, uh, you know, hitting somebody's shins with them, then they yes. spill wine all over your baby, which is not going <laughs> to be a good thing. But, uh, but we do have a place outside for you to leave your strollers, right. and they'll be safe there, mm-hmm. uh, guarded by Montgomery County's finest. Absolutely. So uh, there's still plenty of room to walk around, but there's a ton of people there, and you just mm-hmm. come and have a lot of fun. It will be, yes. The the layout last year really did help a little bit. Also, the ice storm probably helped a little bit, too. Yeah, thank goodness However, we don't have 20 degree, 30 degree. there will be no oh. ice storm this year. This Thursday. Are you going to promise that? I'm Are promising you gonna... there's no ice storm Thursday. Wow. Yep, I, I can promise. It always makes me want to have something happen. To <laughs> no ice storm this year. So, But even without the ice, I think we'll be fine as far as flow goes. It will yeah. be very, very full of people because people mm-hmm. are excited to attend. We've got great, great ticket sales so far. But I think the flow is going to be a lot better. Everybody can get a good bite of food. And all of the restaurants are prepared to serve 3,000 samples of everything they have. And a Perfect. lot of the restaurants aren't just serving one thing. A lot of restaurants are serving three or four different little bites. So the key is don't fill up at the first couple of booths. Correct. The key is also wear stretchy pants. Where, ah, yes. That's, I'm not going to wear gonna my yoga pants. That just would not help. be appropriate. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's what we've got going on there. We're super, super excited. Well, I'm excited. This is a big event for the Chamber every year. It's a chamber that we hold for the community and for the restaurant community to host their or to uh, show their wares. And, and there's a ton of just uh, food talent, mm-hmm. culinary talent in the Woodlands area. And this is a great chance for us to exhibit that and a great time for people to come out and have a good family event. And this, this is our 33rd year. Correct. Which yes. is amazing. And a lot of these restaurants have been participating for numerous, numerous, numerous years, as well as a lot of our volunteers Mm -hmm. and a lot of our sponsors. That's right. Um, 90% of these volunteers are not people that work for the chamber. They are just people out there who love the woodlands, Mm -hmm. who love food, and who are super excited to work this event because it's very, very fun. I'm glad you said that because that's one thing that we say at the chambers. We are Mm member-based and volunteer-centered. Our volunteers really drive our activity. Mm -hmm. They make the decisions on committees like this on absolutely what are the hours for taste of the town or how we should do a layout or they they really drive the decisions on on the events that we do because we couldn't do it without them. Absolutely. And we're very, very pleased to have them. Our presenting sponsors this year, we have Planet Lincoln mm-hmm. as well as um, the City of Shenandoah, um, their Convention and Visitors Bureau, um, Chamber of Commerce, and Visit the Woodlands. Yep. Also, um, they have a little special VIP area for all of our VIPs, um, and they get to Say that again. They have a special VIP area. A VIP area. VIP Heavy area. Heavy on the eye. Yes. Very, very important people. They'll have a little VIP area that little special folks with lanyards get to go in, and they'll be serving wine there. Um, That's right. And who's our VIP sponsors? America's ER. Yeah. As well so if you have as, an accident, if we they're, will they're, even they're have a, prepared. We will have paramedics on site. So if you eat too much and you just explode, we'll have someone <laughs> there to take care of you. That sounds messy. Or if you need any Tums or anything, we'll have people on standby. Now, we could need some Tums. We probably will. And then um, we also have uh, the Republic Grill. Yep. They're also. Yep. Um, Jeremy Burney. Yes. And they, they are supplying wine um, in the VIP area. So yes. if you don't get enough wine from Trader Joe's and you want to stare at the people in the VIP area, <laughs> just make sad, sad eyes, and hopefully they'll give you a, they'll let you smell their yeah. wine. Or it's not secured by a big sip. wall no. or anything. No, there's, yeah, there's no wall around it. Just, just stanchion. So it should be fun. Well, great. Well, yeah. Jenny, thank you for managing this for thank us this you. year. I know you came in and helped us. Uh, we had a staff member go on maternity leave. We yes. were all very excited about that. Absolutely. And so, you stepped in for us and, and helped close the gap there and done a wonderful job. And thank you. Thank you very much. And I think now we are going to go to a break. Spine Chiropractic has offered spine and joint manipulation services to residents of Montgomery County and surrounding areas. Conditions treated include lower back pain, migraines, headaches, whiplash, carpal tunnel, neck pain, sciatica, joint pain, sports injuries, herniated discs, 
and complications from pregnancy. Roger Stein Chiropractic, led by Dr. Stacy Rogers and Dr. Brian McGee, is an integrity verified chiropractic clinic. Call 936 441 9990 for an appointment or visit rogerssteinchiropractic.com. That's R O D G E R S S T E I N chiropractic.com. Does volunteering at a nonprofit horse sanctuary sound wonderful? Or are you a veteran or a veteran spouse and think trying a peer group session through a local Horses and Heroes equine program might be worth trying? Henry's Home Horse and Human Sanctuary, located in Grand Central Park by appointment only, is home to a growing number of rescued and donated horses. Visit our website at henryshomehorsesanctuary.org or check out our Facebook at Henry's Home Horse and Human Sanctuary for more information. Listen in Mondays at noon to hear Conroe news from local nonprofits, businesses, upcoming events, Conroe Park events, news stories, and information that matters to you with your host, Margie Taylor of Taylorized PR. For more information about being a guest, visit IRLoneStar.com slash Conroe Culture. Our talk shows and music shows are looking for sponsors. Want to expand your brand awareness? Reach the hyper-local audience in Montgomery County? Lone Star Community Radio sponsorships accomplish this. Want to see our stats and rates? Check out ourlonestar.com slash sponsor for more information. Or call in and leave us a message at 936-647-3776 with your questions. Get seen on TV, YouTube, and heard on our podcast, FM, and Internet Radio. Support your local radio station with Lone Star Community Radio. Welcome back to Conroe Culture News. This is Jenny Coyle and JJ Holly. We are covering for sweet Miss Margie Taylor today, who is in Hawaii right now, and we're so terribly, terribly jealous. Um, I think we're being way too nice to her. I'm telling you, we better get a She's even nice listening souvenir. to us. Yes, she is. So just have a, I hope you're having a pina colada or something while you're <laughs> listening to us. It's going to make us sound a whole lot better. So anyway, we're here today talking about the Woodlands Area Chamber of Commerce. We just talked a little bit about Taste of the Town, which again is this Thursday from 4 to 9 at the Woodlands Waterway Marriott and Convention Center. Again, tickets are on sale at www.tasteofthetown.org. $30 in advance, $35 at the door. We also have children's tickets available for $20 in advance, $25 at the door. The only difference in those tickets is the beer tickets that they get. The children don't get beer tickets. So, <laughs> we can't stress that enough. No, we can't. Children no. do not get the alcoholic beverages. Absolutely not. Now, you can buy your kids an adult ticket and take their <laughs> beer tickets, but just don't, they're not going to, we're not going to serve them any beer. So, um, we will be carting. Um, but that's what we've got going on this week. But there's so, so many other things that the chamber does. So, JJ, could you tell us a little bit more about what the chamber does? Oh, oh, well, thank you, Jenny. That was a great lead in. <laughs> Thanks. We practiced that during the break. So, uh, you, know, you know, we we broke down the uh, the chamber, what the chamber does for the community. I kind of call it my my mother in law speech because whenever I got this position about three years ago, she asked my wife uh, Amy. She said, "Now, now, what does the chamber do?" And so we started thinking, "Oh, wow! I've been involved in the chamber or chambers for my entire professional life, but a lot of people don't understand what a chamber does." for the community. And, and it actually, we've gone through some strategic planning that helped force us to formalize what we do. And we broke it down, down into four main things. I'm always afraid to say four things. I'm afraid I'll do like a, you know, a Rick Perry and get only three of them. But, uh, the, the first one that we really strive to, uh, to accomplish is being an advocate for the business community. And not only the business community, but the community as a whole. Right. We feel like what's good for the business community is also good for the residents. Uh, I don't know about you, but you you work here, but you also live here. Absolutely. Our kids go to school here. So it's very important that we do uh, make the right decisions. The Montgomery County area is going to double in population in the next 10 to 15 years. About 1,200, 1,200 people move to Texas a day. It is just crazy numbers. And a lot of them are coming to the... Houston Metro, Metropolitan Service Absolutely. Area, the MSA. So one thing that we work on 
is we have monthly meetings on very important policy issues. We have a transportation education council. We have a business advocacy council where if issues come up, now we do not endorse candidates. We just don't feel like that's, we could as a 501c6 right. organization, we could do that. But we feel like it's more important that we focus on policies and less on politics. The, on politics. Absolutely. Yeah. So we want to avoid that. But we have a government affairs director. Her name is Lupe Cuellar. She's wonderful. She is She's really good. Immensely. Well, I've been covering She's so good. Ms. Megan. Yeah. Yes. And uh, you know, we stole her from Representative Will Metcalf's office here in Conroe. Uh, Will uh, is is great at hiring some some very capable staffers, which I'm always willing to give another opportunity to. <laughs> uh, and uh, I apologize to him and Mrs. Metcalf, uh, his mom, whenever, because uh, actually I had two people come to my staff from Will's office. Oh, poor Will. And uh, poor yeah, it was, it was poor Will. I, I really had to, you know, take him out for a round of golf or something <laughs> and, and apologize profusely to him because staff is so, absolutely so important that uh, we'd say if, if you're, um, uh, you, you've got to work with people that uh, that you enjoy being around. Right. Taste of the Town is a perfect example. We're going to be with each other for a good 15, 16 hours on yes. this Thursday because Absolutely. our volunteers start showing up at 7 a.m. Absolutely. and go all the way through till it closes at 9 mm -hmm. plus some. So we're very fortunate to have good good staff. Absolutely. But So more on the advocacy piece, uh, we have uh, come together with all the chambers in Montgomery County, and we have come up with legislative priorities as a county, as a business community in Montgomery County that we presented to our local uh, state representative and state senators, or state representatives and state senators. And we are all going together as a business community to Austin on February 25th and 26th and having Montgomery County Day at the Capitol. Oh, how awesome. Yeah, it should be a really neat, uh, neat event. We'll have a reception Monday night, the 25th. And then all day on the 26th, we'll visit legislators' offices, we'll have presentations, we'll have a little lunch. But it's a time for us to go and show Austin that Montgomery County is active, it's mobilized, it's uh, focused on important issues like transportation, how do we manage water, both flood mitigation and supply right. of water, because we've got to have water in a decade or two or three or five, because if you don't have water, don't have a population. You don't have anything. Absolutely. Uh, there's issues like workforce development. Right. Uh, one thing we were very proud of is we were uh, lended our voice to uh, uh, a bunch of people who supported Lone Star College getting a four-year nursing Which program. Is amazing for us to have that here. That it, was a huge. huge, huge step for the for Lone Star. It, it is. And, and what's good, again, for Lone Star, which is the largest community college in the country, Yes. They've got 96, 97,000 students across their entire system. And we were glad that we could help get something like that passed. Because we all know we have nursing and health care right. shortages. For sure. But yeah. to have that, especially with so many hospitals coming up to our area, is really, really helpful as well. Yes. And just really helps. Lone Star does do a lot of um, degree transfers as well. That's which right. Which is super helpful to have that. Instead of leaving Lone Star to go elsewhere to continue yeah. your nursing career, that you can stay right there where you're comfortable and where you kind of have your education family. So that's amazing. That's right. I love their, their uh, not logo, their start, saying. Start near, go far. Yeah. Start start close, close go, go far. far. I should know it. <laughs> start near, go far. Yes. It's basically a great place to Absolutely. start your college career. And you get all those bases out of the way at a much cheaper cost. For sure. Much more convenient. You could stay at home. You can work. You can get a kind of a running start to your educational career. Absolutely. So, but we were glad to support them on, um, on helping develop our workforce because those are one of the things, key things you need in your economy. So um, we, we pass resolutions on occasion in support of uh, various important issues like roads. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have uh, passed resolutions to support road bonds, to support uh, Conroe ISD school bonds, all those things that, again, help keep our economy moving. And the, the Woodlands Chamber uh, is, is the largest business organization in the entire Houston region. So we've got over 1,500 members. And it's really important that, and our board feels this is very important, that we are just laser focused on moving the needle on important issues that are 
that are going to mean our economic future. Absolutely. And just in the brief time I've been involved with the chamber in a working capacity, um, everyone involved, you know, board members, volunteers, committee members, people just attending the after hours, everyone mm -hmm. is so focused and so willing to help, wanting to help, wanting to lend an idea, mm -hmm. things like that. It's a, it's, it's a good, group, good group of people that have come together really trying to work towards some amazing things. Uh, you know, that's exactly right. Uh, when I got involved in this chamber almost a decade ago, uh, the people that I met are the people I do business with now. Mm -hmm. My insurance agent, my financial advisor, yes. my remodeler. Mm -hmm. um, there, there is not a, a my, my landscaper. I mean, there's not right. a piece of my you know, personal life where I've got to pay right. somebody for something that I, I don't look first at a chamber member. Because I know if they're involved in the chamber, they care about the community. Even sure. more than just marketing and networking. Right. They care about where this place is going in the next several, several years. Right, because there's plenty of businesses that are not members that do an excellent job, not yep. putting anyone down like that. Yep. But it is knowing that you're building the community. When you're working with people that are part of the chamber, they're working to build the community for their kids, for your kids. That's right. For everyone, you know, grow old here, to <laughs> to get new people here, all that. So it really is pretty helpful and a pretty neat organization. Yeah, it, it's it's uh, and it's just a lot of fun to be a part yeah, of. Yeah, for sure. Uh, it's it's a great group of people. Uh, we have a great time and uh, we do some important work while we're here. Yeah, um, wonderful. So our uh, the second of our four core functions is that we are a marketing and networking uh, outlet for our members. That there are all sorts of uh, opportunities for you as a business person to engage people with your business and let people know who you are and what you do. We have business after hours every month. We have a networking breakfast every month. And we generally have uh, 120, 150 people that attend those things. We have a meet the new members reception right. every month. And we also have a lot of different events like Taste of the Town right. where you can sponsor and you can market your business and you can use... Uh, for instance, all of our marketing, our sponsorship packages have tickets associated right, with those, right. and you can give those tickets to your customers or your potential prospects. Absolutely, and we are, we've we worked with some different businesses um, with this Taste of the Town, letting them have some extra tickets, things like that, yeah. doing some uh, partnerships with them so that they can raffle them off or auction them off, things like that. And let me tell you, as far as people wanting to use our platform for advertising, if we could have made Taste of the Town twice as big, mm -hmm. we could have sold all sorts of advert, you know, booths yeah. and yeah, people are interested in being involved, people interested yeah. in being involved that we just ran, simply ran out of room for some of the things that aren't restaurants. That's right. We so can't so have, lesson learned. <laughs> lesson learned. Next we year, need, get in early. We need two floors at the Marriott. <laughs> get in early and just make spend the night there. We'll, we'll talk to Fred Dominic about that. Exactly. He'll, he'll really enjoy I'm that. I'm sure we'll, we'll take over the entire facility. That's That'll true. be great. They would so, love yes. that. Uh, so that that's our, our second uh, second core function, uh, what we call those. Our third is we are a resource for the community. We're over a 40-year organization. And one of the things we're proud of is the people that started the chamber also started the Woodlands. Right. Some of them are even still involved. And it's really neat to hear that uh, how much they appreciate and are amazed really at the Woodlands growth. In fact, our, our chairman of the board currently is Stuart Lapp with Stibbs & Co. Attorneys. His dad moved the family here to start the Woodlands. Stuart spent time as a teenager marking trees. That's you know, just in crazy the to think about. And when his dad moved away in the early 80s to Colorado, there were only 10,000 people in the Woodlands. Now there's 120,000. Right. And he just came back over the Christmas holidays been an extended amount of time, and, and he even came to some chamber meetings, which is really neat. Just told us stories. He was the one who started the fire department. Oh, how neat. Yep. In fact, if you go by one of the fire stations, there's an antique fire truck. Uh-huh. He's the one who procured that antique fire truck, and it's still there. That is too... I don't think it's still running. Yeah. You know, we don't use it anymore, <laughs> but you know, all those things are, are a Absolutely. lot of fun. Absolutely. And uh, so not only do we have that 40 years of relationships, mm -hmm. but... We also have things like Small Business University, mm -hmm. where we have uh, educational resources. We do seminars. We do things that help you become an entrepreneur, help you formalize your business, help your business succeed, help your business go beyond just
just, uh, you know, just being a mom and pop. Right. So all sorts of things like that that we try to help out. And I think we're about to go back to another break. So we will, we will take a break. Sounds good. From the beginning, the main purpose of the Cooperative Extension Study has been to change human behavior by teaching people how to apply the results of scientific research. By utilizing a holistic, multi-level approach, Extension Family and Community Health Programs encourage health and well-being for everyone, addressing values, concerns, and needs with reliable science-based information. Extension programs help people lead healthier lives. We are Texas A&M AgriLife Extension, helping Texans make their lives better. Since 2004, Roger Stein Chiropractic has offered spine and joint manipulation services to residents of Montgomery County and surrounding areas. Conditions treated include lower back pain, migraines, headaches, whiplash, carpal tunnel, neck pain, sciatica, joint pain, sports injuries, herniated discs, and complications from pregnancy. Roger Stein Chiropractic, led by Dr. Stacy Rogers and Dr. Brian McGee, is an integrity verified chiropractic clinic. Call 936 441 9990 for an appointment or visit rogerssteinchiropractic.com. That's R-O-D-G-E-R-S-S-T-E-I-N, chiropractic.com. Lone Star Community Radio is looking for those who are interested in hosting their own talk show. With monthly and weekly slots available on Conroe's FM 104.5, 106.1, and on IRLoneStar.com. Start your own podcast. Create your first YouTube channel and be on TV. Contact Lone Star Community Radio online at IRLoneStar.com or call the station message line at 936-647-3776. Welcome back to Conroe Culture News. This is Jenny Coyle and J.J. Holly. Again, we are covering for Ms. Margie Taylor today, who is on vacation in Hawaii. No one feels sorry for Margie. Yes. We all wish we were with Margie. <laughs> we all wish she'd have taken us with her, but I'm sure she's having a lovely time. We are here today talking about the Woodlands Area Chamber of Commerce. We started out our conversation giving our listeners a little bit of information about Taste of the Town, which Margie is so involved in, and we really couldn't do without her. Um, so we talked a little bit about that. Um, just to recap, that is this Thursday from 4 to 9 at the Woodlands Waterway Marriott um, Hotel and Convention Center. Come hungry. Come hungry in your stretchy pants. <laughs> um, be prepared to not eat the whole next day. Um, tickets are available online at www.tasteofthetown.org. Um, they're $30 in advance, $35 at the door. We do offer children's tickets for 20 in advance, $25 at the door. Um, your adult ticket does come with two tickets for free beer. So you can purchase additional beer be beer tickets at the event. Um, and we're looking forward to having a great, great um, event this Thursday. That is going to be fun. Yes. Come and join uh, 3,000 of your closest friends yes. and sample over 40 restaurants in the Woodlands. And it's a, it's a great place to come and get, uh, you know, some of these uh, uh, events. And you go and you get, uh, you know, a slider or something. Right. I mean, uh, and, and we do have some of that. But. Some of these restaurants come that are really the highest, highest end of the Woodlands. You know, your True Lux, mm -hmm. your Avenida, your Robards, your Kirby's. And they're bringing some really quality entrees that you can yes. come and sample. Yes, I've seen, I've been lucky enough to see some of the things that they're going to be bringing. And they are, like, just amazing how they're going to make 3,000 small little bites of those. I don't know, but that's why they do it, and I do not. I don't know how the, the logistics of it. It is amazing. So, yes, so it should be wonderful. So we're really, really excited about that. Um, we were also talking with JJ about some of the things that the um, the Willens Area Chamber of Commerce does. And yes. I think you're on to your last point out of your four points of of what you guys Thank you, Jenny. used to, to tell people about yourselves. You're going to give me a good lead in. <laughs> you know, Jenny and I have no professional experience. <laughs> No, we, we, we are not trained. We are getting an uh, agent after this. Yeah, we are. Yes. I feel like the guy from American Idol who uh, sang shebang, shebang, and he says, you know, I have no formal training. No, none. 
Yeah. Just comes uh, naturally. I'm probably doing uh, 10 times worse than that guy. On singing. <laughs> but, uh, but Jenny, thank you. The, the uh, last four core function of the chamber is that we support charitable causes. Uh, the Montgomery County area as a whole is, is really a very affluent area, and it's a very generous philanthropic area. So uh, we felt like as a, and this is not a normal function uh, of a chamber, not that right. chambers aren't you know, support charities, but we have formalized that into our daily processes that we have a community relations team mm -hmm. that focuses on, and we have over 170 nonprofits, charities that are part of the chamber. And so we take those and we, and it's hard to, but we have a, uh, uh, an application uh, time mm -hmm. where uh, we go through and different charities will uh, apply to the chamber to be the sponsored charity for every uh, right. for months. We have one every single month of the year, and we usually fudge on that. We usually do you know one, two. I mean, right, right. Uh, there are so many needs mm -hmm. out there that it's 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 amazing. I mean, people still in Montgomery County go hungry, right? And it uh, it's it's just amazing that when you look at the area, uh, that there's still a huge amount of need there. And so we we focus on that, and we try to help where we can. The great thing I tell this, especially to our smaller businesses, is that you can get involved because usually every small business wants to be philanthropic. They want to help mm -hmm. the community. And this is a, a great outlet for them because they don't have to do the research. They don't have to vet an organization. They don't have to know who's involved or try to track them down or, hey, what are you doing? You know, what, what's the purpose and where can I fit in? We do all that for you. So all you have to do is just show up and 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 help out. Uh, we have uh, opportunities, I believe, uh, on the uh, so the twenty fourth and twenty fifth at Habitat for Humanity yes. to help out their restore shop. Mm -hmm. So it's it's a great time for you to come in, spend an afternoon or two right. on those days, and come in and deep dive in, and and you can help out an organization. They come out and help us out next month on something. Right, and a lot of places, it's not that, especially the smaller businesses. If you can't give you know, a $50,000 sponsorship exactly. to something, a day of service, yep. um, a case of water, you yes. know, lots of different things like that. You'd yes. be surprised. It takes a village mm -hmm. and we have one. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it's every, you can't do it without any, any of the pieces. Yep. So that really is helpful to um, put people in contact, especially the, the charitable organizations in contact with um, other folks that can help, help them. Out. And then that's something I, I think that we as a business organization, a business community as a whole should be really, really mm -hmm. proud of is that uh, the charities in this community, and I'm talking about uh, Montgomery County, Conroe, the Woodlands, uh, everywhere, uh, Magnolia, Montgomery, uh, East Montgomery County, that uh, our businesses come out and support people that are less fortunate than themselves. And, the business, without the business community, we couldn't have the charity. Right. We, we couldn't because uh, that's the economic engine mm -hmm. that drives the, uh, the contributions to a lot of the charities. And it really, really helps them out. And we're proud to be a part of that. Yes, it's, it's pretty awesome. So, yes, that's definitely a, a really good area here in the Woodlands. Um, one thing I've noticed, too, about the Woodlands and the whole surrounding area is that multiple charities, the charities support the other charities. They do. Which is a really different... Yes. And I hope I'm saying that right, but everyone supports everyone. Yeah. It's not it's a different dynamic than exactly. some areas. It's yeah. not like don't don't take my money. We need that money. It's people yeah. out there helping each other and finding yeah. niches. And yeah. I think the chamber is probably what helps mm -hmm. that to to facilitate that. So I'm really glad awesome. you brought that up because we we believe at the chamber, our board believes in in an abundance mentality, mm -hmm. and we believe that we should be a collaborative organization. And we're joined in that belief by all the charities in and around that it, it is amazing. In fact, a lot of our charities sit on that community mm -hmm. relations team. So they know what's going on with each and every other charity and they know where not every charity can, there's not a single charity that can serve every need. Right. So they know where their lane is mm -hmm. and they know where other people's expertise is and they can get involved and they can, they can help, meet the needs of, of a lot of different people simply because, oh, I don't do that, but you know what somebody else sure, does. Sure, sure. Yeah. It's, it's really great. Yeah. So I'm um, moving a little bit forward. What mm -hmm. can you tell us about your economic outlook um, well, coming up? Thank you very much, Jenny. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm glad you asked about yes. that. So we have every year, again, it's an annual event, and I believe this is our uh, 34th year of our economic outlook conference. And this 
uh, this supports that core function of being an advocate for the community and educating the community. So obviously economic policy mm -hmm. that is uh, developed by not only our federal government, but state, mm -hmm. local governments, that plays into tax policy, for instance. You know, we, we were fortunate to have a, um, our tax code uh, rewritten almost, and uh, that's been a great economic benefit to, yeah, to our area. Fabulous. So um, part and parcel with that, we have every year the Economic Outlook Conference. This year's is, at, again, at the Waterway Marriott. Yes. Uh, thank you, Fred Dominic, uh, for hosting. <laughs> we it. live there. We, yeah, we love that place. <laughs> and uh, uh, so we will have that on February 8th, again, at the Waterway Marriott, starting at 8 a.m. and going through lunch. Our keynote speaker at lunch is a former CEO of Shell. Shell Oil Company. It's great. He retired in uh, in 2008, uh, started another organization, which he'll tell us about. But that is, his name is John Hoffmeister, and he graciously accepted our invitation to come and be our keynote luncheon speaker. That's so we're looking forward to hearing from him. That'll be amazing. It, it will be amazing. And, and his take on it, because he's not a CEO anymore, Correct. but he used to be one, right. he, he can be a little more... Uh, Open with what his... Open is right. the right word. I'm like, <laughs> thank you very much. Yes, he, he is just a great uh, resource. I've watched some YouTube videos of him, and he's an engaging speaker, but he's a very knowledgeable, he's obviously a very intelligent guy. Right, awesome. How do people attend this? Can anyone attend the conference, or yes. how does that work? Yes, anyone can attend that conference, and tickets are available through our website at woodlandschamber.org. That's www. <laughs> Because we always miss Forget the third day. Yeah, yeah <laughs> www.woodlandschamber.org. No, www okay. And you can look up our Economic Outlook Conference. And uh, tickets are available. Sponsorships. So we have a few sponsorships still available there as well. And we generally have seven, 800 attendees. So it's right. a very large event. And it's a great place for people to come and hear about our local economy, our state economy, and our national economy. Our, we'll have Congressman Kevin Brady, uh, one of our Wonderful. featured speakers, uh, uh, Mr. Gordy Bunch, who is uh, the chairman of the township mm -hmm. board, who is like our, our mayor in the yes. woodlands. <laughs> and because uh, the township is a different, it's, it's actually, it's uh, I'm chasing a, uh, a squirrel here, but the township's not incorporated, not a city. Correct. It's actually a special purpose district that was formed by the Texas legislature 40 years huh. ago. And it's, the history of the woodlands is amazing, but. Uh, but he will come and talk to us about the, the latest things that are happening there. And uh, we'll, have a, we'll have a CEO panel. Oh. Uh, Miss Sally Rayner from Entergy is, is speaking on that. Uh, Mr. Paul Lane from Howard Hughes, who's the Woodlands Development Company. Yes. So there's a lot of things. You know, the I Woodlands. I love to hear the new stuff when, when you get the little inside scoop on what's coming. That's so much fun to hear from them. It's great. And, and, you know, now it's also public that there's a new Louis Vuitton store going into Market Street. Really now? Yeah. Yep, all the uh, husband's wallets yeah. just cringe. I'm sure my yeah. husband already knew that. Great. <laughs> but, uh, and, and, you know, it's, it's just we are blessed to be in an economic, Absolutely. Uh, a prosperous yes. area. And, but those things don't happen by accident. No. And we have to be deliberate. And, again, I think our key word today is focus mm -hmm. on what can we do now to make sure and protect and grow uh, the area and manage growth in a way that is going to be uh, logical and sane and people are going to look up and go, oh, wow, you know, it's the year 2070, and um, the Woodlands is still the most desirable place in the United States to live, which it has been ranked right. as the most desirable place. I, I tell people all the time that Texas is uh, uh, consistently ranked as the number one state to do business at in the country, mm -hmm. and the Woodlands is ranked consistently as the number one place to live in the country. So you have it the best of both worlds. It's you do. to live and do business. It's wonderful. So, yes, that's super exciting. Yeah, a lot of fun. Yes. All right. Well, I think we're going to take a break now. Um, again, you're listening to Conroe News, Conroe Culture News. I just coughed in the middle of my speech. Conroe Culture News with J.J. Holly and Jenny Coyle, and we'll be right back. Rescue is a nonprofit organization serving Montgomery County and surrounding areas. 
dedicated to the health and well-being of the Boxer breed. Lone Star Boxer Rescue is run and managed 100% by volunteers since 1999. Our main objective is to rescue, rehabilitate, and rehome boxers that come to us from many sources, including local animal shelters, owner surrenders, and strays. For more information about Lone Star Boxer Rescue, visit our website at lsbr.org. Since 2004, Roger Stein Chiropractic has offered spine and joint manipulation services to residents of Montgomery County and surrounding areas. Conditions treated include lower back pain, migraines, headaches, whiplash, carpal tunnel, neck pain, sciatica, joint pain, sports injuries, herniated discs, and complications from pregnancy. Roger Stein Chiropractic led by Dr. Stacy Rogers and Dr. Brian McGee, is an integrity-verified chiropractic clinic. Call 936-441-9990 for an appointment or visit rogerssteinchiropractic.com. That's R-O-D-G-E-R-S-S-T-E-I-N, chiropractic.com. Lone Star Community Radio is ready for the summer. If you or anyone you know is looking for a summer internship, Lone Star Community Radio is a great place to learn the radio and TV business. Contact the station at info at IRLoneStar.com or call the station's message line at 936-647-3776. Lone Star Community Radio offers a great opportunity for those interested in learning about the radio world. Welcome back to Conroe Culture News. This is Jenny Coyle and J.J. Holly. We are covering again today for Miss Margie Taylor, who is on vacation in Hawaii. So anyway, we have been here today for the past hour talking about the Woodlands Area Chamber of Commerce and all the things that it has to offer. Yes. So, um, J.J., what are a couple more things you want to get in before we are done? And then we'll wrap up telling them a little bit, just a little bit more information about Taste of the Town, which is this week on Thursday from 4 to 9 before we hop off <laughs> so you can go run out and get your tickets. Perfect. Well, uh, the Chamber has a lot of events. Uh, I mentioned earlier our three monthly events that we have, uh, Meet the New Members. But our next Meet the New Members is the 22nd, so next Tuesday evening. We're being hosted by Waste Connections. Mr. Steve Berry, who's on our board, is hosting it. It's going to be a great time. Uh, going to spend some time out on the waterway. And uh, again, a lot of people come to those. We have uh, over 100 that usually attend. So Meet the New Members, uh, Business Advocacy. Oh, sorry, I said that wrong. Uh, the Business After Hours and our, uh, our monthly uh, networking breakfast, so we have those. But over and above that, we have these annual events, and our next one that's coming up is going to be our job fair. And I believe that is going to be on May 1st, so details are coming out on that uh, a little bit later. But that's where if you're an employer and you're looking for someone or you're a potential employee, you can come. And we generally have 30, 40 employers that have that's booths wonderful. and tables, so you can come and meet people face to face because mm -hmm. that's a lot better than for sure. You know, just and seeing an email, your resume yeah. or an email where you know there's so much that you can gather from a first impression, right. right? So we have the job fair coming up, and then shortly after that, we'll have the health and wellness fair, which we'll have at Market Street, mm -hmm. and that will be in. I believe we're going to have that in mid May. Okay, I have to look on the date on that, but. That's something that's coming up. So, again, if you're looking for someone that uh, to employ or if you're looking for a job, uh, take a look at our website. Again, that's www.woodlandschamber.org, <laughs> not .com, but .org. Yes. And all the details on, on those two events are there. Wonderful. And then we, of course, will have the Chairman's Ball in can August. Have a theme this year, or can you oh, not? You I am cannot. glad you said that, and I, I'm going to I'm going to announce it first here. You heard it first. I'm going to announce it first, and this I may get in trouble with uh, Miss <laughs> Megan Karenik, who is our our uh, director of special events. But the the chairman's ball we have every year to honor our outgoing chairman, Correct. which again this year Stuart Lapp was Dibs and Co. attorney, and our incoming chairman is Jeff Garrett, who is uh, a VP in their legal department at CP Chem. Oh, nice. So it's Chevron uh, uh, Chevron Phillips Chemical. And so we are honoring our outgoing chairman, honoring our incoming chairman. And it's a great event. That's usually in August. And uh, I think this August, it'll be on the 18th. And it'll be back at the Marriott. Always. Again, thank you for Donna. Yes. And this year's theme, we have a drum roll. Can we do a drum roll? We have, <laughs> we have a drum, drum roll. roll effect. 
So this year's theme is going to be under the big top. How and it'll be a big fabulous. circus theme. I'm trying to think of what my costume Ring might master. be. Ringmaster. Ringmaster. Maybe I need a, yes. one of those, uh, what top do you call hat. those, a top hat? Yes. You know, a red vest and Absolutely. all that type of stuff. And I guess, you know, white yoga pants. I don't know how that works. But anyway. <laughs> we'll try to find so you something besides white yoga pants. Maybe that would be better. I think I everyone would appreciate that. The, yeah, uh, attendees <laughs> right now. So people are not going to come to the gym. <laughs> if we could fall. get a sponsor to pay for JJ not to wear there white you yoga go. pants, there that you would be go. great. <laughs> Probably um, the highest price sponsor. Yeah, but that's always such a fun event. Just yes. such a super, super fun event. I know last year was Star Wars. Which that's right. Was a blast. No a pun blaster. intended. It was a blaster. Um, <laughs> so this one should be awesome. I just love a theme. I, I love a theme event. You know, and, and of course, there are always a lot of galas and events like Correct. this. And we, again, it's a lot of fun to attend those. And, and the competition is high. I mean, it we is. talked about we have a friendly competition with our uh, you know, our local charities on, they have an event. We're always trying to make sure that the next one is the biggest, right. best one. And the people who benefit that are really the attendees. Correct. Because you go to an event and and you just have a great time. Sometimes it even gets to count as a date night for me and my wife. <laughs> if, if I focus attention on on her and not uh, be bopping around the uh I've seen you pay a lot of attention to her pretty much. Well, I try. I'm, 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 I'm still in training. I'm still yeah. working on that. But we've got that coming up in August. And then in uh, October, we will have our annual golf tournament. Wonderful. We haven't set the date on that or the location, but that's generally when we have. We try to do it after the heat has finally right. subsided. We had a golf tournament one time in, in mid-September, and all of us almost died. Uh, died just Melted. bugged. It was horrible. Well, you have a three-week window of cool weather, so. That's know, right. Sort of yeah, that in yeah. we have the, uh, the winter week. Yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, but we have a lot of events going on. I encourage you that if you're not a member of the chamber, that uh, you go to look at our website and, sure. and you take a look at us. We There's have, lots of different levels. This there isn't are. a big monetary. Um, I'm glad you said that. Thing. It's it's definitely That's right. toward. That's right. um, I lost my train of thought. It's definitely lots of different levels of. Yes. Sponsor, not sponsorships, the packages you can purchase to become a member of the chamber. That's from right. From major corporations down to mm-hmm. mom and pop, down to mm-hmm. I work for myself out of my house. That, that's right. It's not, it's not that big of a, of a monetary commitment yeah. if, you're, if you don't need that. We, we, we take that very seriously. Right. right. When we say we represent the business community, we represent the entire business community. Yes. I don't care if you started your business yesterday or you're a 5,000 person corporation. There are things at the chamber for each and every business, no matter how big or small you are. And there's a, a chamber a friend of mine that's told me, he says, uh, you know, it may be a small business to you, but it's the biggest thing in their life. Right. And, and we never discount that. That someone who is, that was also another joke that, uh, you know, start a small business, uh, only work half a day. Yeah, <laughs> pick any 12 hours you want. Yeah. And when I say that to a small business person, they say, oh, I wish I only worked 12 hours. Exactly. It is a huge commitment, and we want to do all that we can to help that person succeed. Right. And we do have a lot of small businesses that are going to be re- uh, represented at Taste of the Town. We have a yep. lot of mom-and-pop restaurants. I say mom-and-pop, I mean not chain restaurants, even though they are wonderful as well. Right. Um, so come down for that. Don't forget that it's Thursday. Four to nine at the Woodlands Waterway Marriott and Convention Center. You can purchase your tickets online, $30 in advance, $35 at the gate. Um, it is uh, www.tasteofthetown.org to purchase your tickets. Um, and we can't wait to see you there. And thank you so much, guys, for having us today. Yeah, big shout out to Miss Margie Taylor. Yes. Thank you for donating uh, your hour on the air to us. I hope we haven't driven listeners away from you. <laughs> but uh, we also hope you have a great day trip uh, out in Hawaii, and we uh, we hope you have safe travels back here to Conroe. And we'll see you on Thursday. Yes. Yes.